Hi Sagittarius, welcome to July 2018. Well, you're motivated to achieve professional success this month and your soul is calling you to far off places here in July. Now, this is going to be a wild month because we're in eclipse season. There's going to be three eclipses. Typically there's two, but here we've got three and that makes it you know, very unusual. The first eclipse is in the sign Cancer on July 12th and 13th. Then that one is followed by a total lunar eclipse in Aquarius on the 27th. And then two weeks later in August there'll be another solar eclipse in Leo. As you go into the month there is a gorgeous grand water trine with the Sun in Cancer to Jupiter exact on the 5th, your ruling planet, and then trying Neptune on the 8th. And that's going to be part of the uh, Cancer solar eclipse on uh, July 12th and 13th. This is a wonderful energy to take a vacation. <clears throat> For those of us in the States, it's the 4th of July, so take an extended vacation and enjoy yourself and um, rest, recharge your batteries, rejuvenate. And the good news also for you is your ruling planet, Jupiter, moves direct on July 10th. This is good news because he will not retrograde again until he's well into Sagittarius. So he's going to be moving now forward and then in November 8th, I believe he moves into Sagittarius. It might be the 10th or the 8th, I'm not sure. But he moves into Sagittarius in November, and then all of next year, he's in your sign. That's good news. One for Jupiter, because he rules Sagittarius. He doesn't rule Scorpio. He doesn't like being in the underworld. He's a sky god. So he's very happy he's returning to Sagittarius. And that's incredibly beneficial for you because now he's going to be with you for a year, empowering you, bringing you opportunities, bringing you prosperity, and gifts from the gods. Yay! <laughs> and so it's going to be kind of wild in here, because especially this time of year, we're in the, the water cycle of cancer, and people get very hypersensitive and emotionally sensitive, and, uh, you know, they can be very reactive. And, you know, so you want to stay out of the drama. With Pluto opposing the um, Cancer New Moon eclipse, that can create emotional power struggles. People can be, you know, acting like everything's urgent and I've got to get it done yesterday. And people, can, your emotions can feel raw and urgent and <clears throat> power struggles, emotional power struggles, emotional intensity. So, you know, be aware of that. Um, it's also a time to purge the past, purge what no longer serves you, purge what is not working for you anymore. Pluto is the great purger. <laughs> so this is a time for you to look at. Now for you, it's happening in the area of your resources. Um, what you love and value, what other people love and value, or what your partner loves and values, your money, your partner's money, or other people's money, your self-esteem, your self-worth, Pluto is there. And then the um, Cancer solar eclipse is in the area of who do you trust? Who do you let in? So you're going to have an opportunity to look at this and evaluate, you know, do you need better boundaries with people in your life? Are there people in your life that are getting in your space or intruding into uh, your life that don't belong there? You know, it can also be jealousy too. You know, maybe you're dealing with someone who's jealous of what you have and what you're doing. So be aware, you know, these energies have a tendency to bring out the dark side in human nature. We'll certainly be seeing it in the headlines out there of all the uh, power struggles going on and ego battles. You know, Pluto rules divine will, and when we're doing the will of God, 
then everything falls into place. But when we're coming from our ego, I'm right, you're wrong, I'm right, do it my way, then that can, is where we get you know, whacked by uh, the universe, where we get self-corrected, let's say. We get this self-correction going on. And, uh, you know, but that's to get us on path and uh, not push our will on others. Even if we're meaning, we're well-meaning, you know, like, oh, but what my philosophy is so right on, you know. We have to allow others to come to it in their own time. We can't push our will on others because we think we know what's best for them or what's right for them. You know, stay in your own lane <laughs> and let others be in their lane and then that way you'll be um, enjoying your month and having a good time. Yeah, and you know, there's another energy in here too that says, you know, clear your mind of the clutter. Clear your home of clutter. This is a really good time for you to, you know, clean out the closets. Clean out the closets of your mind. Clean the house. Clean, have a garage sale. Give away stuff. Throw out stuff. Get organized. This is an excellent month for you to be focused on organizing yourself, organizing your life, organizing what you're doing. Wonderful energy for that. Wonderful energy. I just love that Sun trying Jupiter for you on the 8th. That could be a magical day. That could be a wonderful day for you. But even this, you know, eclipse with the Cancer energy, you know, it's got a gorgeous grand water trine with it, which means we can heal the past. We can heal relationships. We can um, find solutions to challenges that we couldn't figure out before. And with Venus moving into Virgo, that she goes into Virgo on the 9th. And that brings you focus to career success. And she's forming a gorgeous grand earth trine with Saturn in the area of your money, self-worth, to Uranus in the area of your work, your lifestyle, your health habits, your work habits. This is fantastic for making money. This is also a time where you could be highly motivated to achieve professional success and it puts you in favorable with the higher ups. So if you want to get a promotion or you want the higher ups to see you in a positive light, they can do that here in July. Pluto is not an unlucky planet. He will empower you if you are on your path and doing the will of God. If you're doing what God wants for you, if you're following your destiny, you will be supported by Pluto. And if you're staying in your own lane and focusing on what you're responsible for and what you need to be doing, you're going to see success this month. You're going to see breakthroughs. You're going to see opportunity. You're going to see that you're uh, being moved up in what you're doing. Venus is working overtime in that area for you to bring you more money, to bring you more opportunity, to expand the business that you're doing, to expand where you're working, to create positive relationships with your coworkers, your public, uh, your clients, your customers, your patients, your students, your audience, and so that you can build greater wealth and lasting wealth, lasting forms of wealth. That's what Saturn wants you to do. Saturn wants you to really look at what you want, not what you've wanted before, but what do you want now? You're a different person because of Saturn being in your sign those three years, two and a half years. That changed you. And not only did it change who you are, but now it's changing what you want. You might want something different now. What is it that you want, Sagittarius? Now, there's some more crazy energy in here because Mars, being retrograde, is in a square with Uranus. And that energy is going to be around from July 9th to October 1st. That's a challenging aspect. That can make us act out impulsively. It can make you say things that you later wish you didn't say because he's in the area of communication and conversations. So be careful. Once it's out, we can't get it back. And especially in social media, if you put it in and it's out there, just ask Roseanne Barr, right? Once it's out there, man, <clears throat> you know, you just got to be careful what you say. You know, because you can think something, but that doesn't mean it's true. Just because we think things, that doesn't mean it's true. <laughs> you certainly don't want to say it. You know, spread love in the world. If you're going to type something out there, say nice things about people. Say nice things about races and, and uh, ethnic groups 
And what's that saying? If you don't have anything nice to say, zip it. <laughs> don't say anything because you, it will come back to bite you in this energy. Karma is instant. And the minute you put it out there, instant karma will get you. So be aware because you've got Mars in that area of conversations and social media. And you don't want to be, you know, saying things and then, oh, I'm so sorry I said that. I didn't mean that. I didn't know. Oh, my gosh. You know, um, it just, uh, it, it just is not going to work. And, and it's not right to do anyway. So, Venus, you know, is exactly trying Saturn on the 14th. That could be an excellent day for you as well. Then the sun enters your sister sign, Leo, on the 22nd. And Venus will sextile Jupiter on the 22nd. That could be a really amazing day for you where you have this breakthrough at work. Or someone has your back at work that you didn't even know was telling the boss how great you are, or telling you know, your clients, telling the public how great you are, how great it is to work with you. So you know, there's some good stuff happening for Sagittarius this month. And it has to do with your reputation in the world and your profession in the world and people sticking up for you and standing up for you and just singing your praises, how wonderful you are to work with and how wonderful you are, what a team player you are. It's awesome. It's really good. And Mercury is going retrograde. Yay, like we don't have enough drama in here, right? Mercury is going retrograde July 26th through August 18th. Now for you, it's really favorable because he's in Leo the whole time and Leo pours positive energy into any planets you have in Sagittarius. And it is your soul calling you to far off places. So for some of you, you really want to plan a trip or maybe you are going on a, a long distance journey somewhere, which is so good for you because the North Node is in Leo and that's about following your heart's desire. And Sagittarius, you are the natural ruler of this area of far off places and world travel, being a world-class citizen. And so, you know, that's where your heart is and it's exciting. And it's also, you know, take a look at what do I believe? You know, maybe I believed this before. Maybe I don't believe this anymore. The Mercury retrograde can be having you look at your beliefs and what's serving you now and what's not serving you and what you need to let go of, what's no longer serving you. Now, the challenge comes in is because Mars is sitting with the moon in Aquarius, opposing the sun and north node in Leo, and they're all being T-squared by Uranus. This is wild. This can be, you know, surprising uh, news coming in. Now, it doesn't have to be negative, but it will be surprising. You know, it can be, you know, a sudden event or a radical break from the past where you just like, maybe you move out of something you've been doing. You know, with Uranus in this part of your life, you really do want to innovate how you work. You want to innovate what you're doing for work. There may be something you want to do with technology or internet, having an internet business, doing something online. It is the future. Doing something that's metaphysical, doing something, doing something with astrology. Uranus rules astrology. Uh, it could be anything that has to do with, you know, cutting edge therapies, you know, cutting edge innovative uh, healing practices and, you know, being an innovative healer being innovative in whatever you're doing. And what's really cool is the rulers of Aquarius, which is Saturn and Uranus, they're trining at the time of the eclipse. And the universe is saying, Sagittarius, whatever changes you make now, this is good for you. And I will help you, Saturn, universe, build lasting structures around it. I will help you build wealth with it. So if you are starting a new business or you're incorporating something new into your existing business or where you work, Saturn wants to help you build financially, to build lasting structures and forms that will take you into the future in the months ahead and the years ahead. And that's what's so exciting about this. The more open to change you are, the more innovative you are, the more opportunity is going to come your way, and the more you're going to find that this is just the change you needed. 
This is absolutely where you needed to go. This is absolutely what you needed to do. This is absolutely where you needed to be. And by changing it, um, you're going to find that it now is getting incorporated into your life in a beautiful way, in the way that you want it to be um, brought into your life and used in your life. One of the things we have to be careful for and watch out for is this Martian energy where, um, you know, we can get into disruptive arguments or, um, you know, rash behavior, rash actions, people lashing out, uh, right fighting, you know, being right. That's all ego. And, you know, it's a very emotionally charged month because we're first we're in the water, which is about emotions. And then we move to Leo, which can be dramatic emotions, <laughs> drama kings and drama queens running around with their heads cut off because everything's retrograde. And when we're retrograde, we're in our subconscious. We're in a dream state. We're not even fully conscious. And so that's why it's not the best time to make final decisions because uh, we don't have all the facts. Mercury is retrograde. Now, if something completes, that's the universe saying, it's done for you. I want you over here. And Uranus can bring sudden radical breaks from the past. And this energy is going to be around for a while because then we're going to have it with Leo in August. And then, you know, with Mars moving direct at the end of August, it could come out in September, in October. And, you know, eclipses last for months, even years into the future. The most intense time is right around the exact eclipse where something can change. You move. You move out of a relationship. You change jobs. You start a business. You just, you know, you just change everything. Uh, but what's kind of wild here is we've got the Mars retrograde and we've got the Mercury retrograde at the uh, Aquarius lunar eclipse. So it can be completing things, but it may not be exactly the right time to start something new. I would like for that to happen after Mercury goes direct August 18th, and then Mars goes direct August 27th. After that time period would be a much better time to launch that new business and start that new whatever it is you want to be doing. New job, new school, new career, you know, whatever it is. It's going to be unique for each one of you because you're all on your own unique path. Now, for those of you open for love, you know, I'm not seeing a big influence in here. And it really isn't the, you know, most appropriate time to be meeting someone new with Mars retrograde and now Mercury retrograde. If you do meet someone new now, they're definitely from your past, your past lives. Because that's what retrogrades do, is they bring people back from our past. And you could be revisiting with people from your past now. You know, uh, you know so, and that's fine to, to meet up with people that you already know. Absolutely uh, wonderful to do in this energy is to meet up and visit with each other and see where it goes. It's always see where it goes and just be open. You know, and if you do meet someone now you like, go for it. You might meet someone through work. Uh, that is definitely a possibility. You could meet someone who lives in another country or lives at a distance from you. That is also a possibility. For those of you coupled, you know, I'm not seeing really, you know, much, I'm not seeing a challenge there. There could be some that comes up around, you know, the uh, Cancer New Moon, July 12th and 13th, in regards to how you're using resources, how you are spending money, how he or she is spending money. You could be, you know, working that out, but it's, you can work it out because you've got that gorgeous grand water trine there too that's saying we can work it out, as well as the gorgeous grand earth trine that's saying there's more money coming in. Maybe we want to save more money, you know, maybe, and that's a really good thing to do. You know, we live in a world that says consume, 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 but it's not good for us to keep consuming. And it's certainly not good for the environment. It's better to save money than to just keep consuming or invest it in yourself. That's what I've always done is invest in myself. And the payoff comes through uh, being very successful at what you do. And so um, invest in yourself, invest in your skills, invest in your education and save money. And then that way you can be financially independent and retire early. Fire. <laughs> you are a fire sign. Financially independent, retire early. Fire. <laughs>
So money looks good this month. It looks really good. And it's working for you. And it's, it's coming your way. I can't wait for Jupiter to go into Sagittarius. Korea looks really good this month. You've, you're motivated to move up in what you're doing. And you're being seen favorably with those that can move you up. Yay! And if you own your own business, it's going really well too. Just got to keep one foot in front of the other and just ride the wave and, you know, let it take you to new shores if it's taking you to a new, a new place. Be open to travel this month. It's a very spiritual month for you too, and especially next month. Spiritually, you know, make sure you're taking time to get out in nature. Take a vacation. Take a staycation. Take time for yourself. Take time for what you want to do. Take time for um, your personal self-care and happiness. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, favoring, sharing, and Google Plus in my videos. Sagittarius, you're rocking awesome. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And my academy is open. It's going amazing. I'm so excited. The Wealthy, core, the wealthy Goddess course is being well received. It's, there's still, you still get time to join. It's an excellent time to invest in your education. It's an online school, but I'm going to be doing very personalized group coaching with everyone. And uh, one-to-one -one business coaching I'm also offering right now. If you get in right now, you can get that package deal. <clears throat> but time is running out. And I would love to see you on the inside. So until next time, Sagittarius. It's a good month for you. Stay focused. Stay grounded. Because these energies are just wild.